All right, I'm with C-Mac and Jeff Rule today, and we just found a big flock of birds right over there. Not big. TKO pink legs. Cigar trout, we used to call them back in the day. Cigar trout. I only catch keepers, C-Mac. Proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You all keeping fish? You want fish, Jeff? Yeah, was, uh, you do? Yeah, I'll take There he is. Not a big one. Not a big one at all. Nah. -uh. Long and skinny, man. Look how skinny that fish is. There he is. Come on up. Come on up. This might be a keeper. Surf, baby, surf. Surf, baby, surf. There we go. You got a keeper? No, he don't keep. Nah. Todd's does. Oh, there you go. Good fish. Let's keep a keeper. Solid 13, 13 and a half. All right, we could sit here all day and just wear on these speckled trout, but it's really a lot more fun to find fish than it is just sit here and catch them. So we're gonna roll. Where we are right now, by the way, is Lake Bourne. This is a cut coming off the intercoastal waterway that's pulling a bunch of shrimp out of the marshes and funneling them through here, and the trout are just waiting for them. Caught one fish on a cork, but most of them jigging deep. All right, we made a move to C Max favorite honey hole in all of North America. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, yeah. <laughs> An area called Bow Brothers that I refer to as Blow Brothers because the fishing here sucks. But C Mac caught a couple fish here on his last trip, so he wanted to come back. I'm fixing to prove that Blow Brothers nonsense wrong. All right, let's see. I hope you do. I, in all sincerity, I hope you do. I'm going to change it to Stroke Brothers. This area does get some big trout, particularly when the weather's cold, which we're in a bit of a warm spell here in South Louisiana. It's been 70s every day, past two or three days. A little cool this morning, but definitely not bad. It's funny, uh, last year there were no shrimp in the ICW last fall. Yeah. Two years ago it was crazy. Last year none, now they're back here again. Oh, I just missed it. Yep. Nope. Sometimes I'm wondering if you feel him spitting it out. So it. Ah, you f***er. <laughs> you f***er. Oh, you f***er. Yep. There we go. Get him, Jeff. Get him, Jeff. He nope. threw it. Sorry, you get the fun part. Yeah. The bite and the hook set. There he is. Get him. Cool. That's a good trout. Nice trout. Blow brothers? Still blows. <laughs> that jig head was lodged in his mouth. Get him, Jeff. Jeff's got him a good one. Yeah, get him, Jeff. Damn, Jeff. Laying him out, dude. That's a pretty trout. God, look at that trout. 2016, look at that. Get him, C-Mac. Good trout. You never felt him? He was just there? Yeah, it's funny. Like, correct, right. They're not eating, they just hit. Right. 
All right, so Blow Brothers didn't quite live up to its name. We did catch a few fish there. And actually pretty nice. Jeff caught one eh, between two and two and a half pounds. But now we've turned our attention to bass fishing. We've come right outside the wall, just right there into a little bayou. It's got a lot of grass in here. Water's not perfect, but should be able to catch a few fish in here. We'll see. Get him, Jeff. Feeling bassy? Oh, nice bass. bass. Not a bad one. Nope. Good fish. Jeff's throwing his patented jig head worm. Yep. What brand of worm is that, Jeff? This is a uh, one in Havoc. It's Berkeley Havoc. Havoc, okay. Red bug. Oh, there he is. On the SB. Love this bait. I love it only because it's great. That's the only reason I love it. SB 57, Rayburn red color. Yes, it works in the winter. Yeah, this water is gorgeous. <laughs> something, something died. That was a big Let's have a moment of silence for whatever died back there. A ton of bait. Oh, there he is. I saw him hit it. I saw him hit it. That was freaking awesome. I literally saw the fish hit the bait. That's a good bass. Really good bass for this area. Put him on that SP again, huh? Yes. Just a great bait. Get him, Jeff! Yeah, he's not acting like a bass, is he? Get him, C Mac! Now we gotta figure it out. Dang it. Dude, I threw in his mouth. Oh, you <laughs> I didn't get a good hook set at all. There we go. That's a bass. Damn, son. Get him, Jeff. Pretty. It is pretty. Pretty, pretty. pretty. Eighty-five, ninety dollars a piece. Yeah. It's it's more of a hobby, believe me. I'm not saving money. No, no, no. But now you put your time and all that into it. There he is. That might be a red because he smacked it. Ooh, a flounder. Flounder. That's your Talcai name? That's my name, Flounder. See, Mac, you want this dude or no? Oh, look at the bass. Look at the bass. Three of them. See them? Yeah. One, two. Look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 there he is. Sight fishing bass. Awesome. Sight fishing bass. <laughs> Get him, Jeff. That's his buddy. That's his buddy. It was a smaller one behind him. So I threw the first one skedaddled. He ran back here because it was too close to him. The other one was trailing him. He rocketed to it. Got him, C-Mac? What you got, man? Red? Oh, shoot. I got smoked. He's coming up. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Perfect size red. Look at that. Look at that in this pretty water. Beautiful fish. Man, is that pretty. You gonna need a net, C Mac, or what? I don't think so. 
Man, what a great day, catching a variety of what makes South Louisiana such an incredible place. Yes, Sorry. Sorry I interrupted your outro. <laughs> a lot of fun fishing with two excellent anglers. We always have a great time when we fish together. Kind of slow to begin with, actually kind of slow in the middle, but we put it together here at the end. Just phenomenal action. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.